What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you a brand new tweak called Watchboard. Now what Watchboard does is basically bring the Apple Watch UI to the iPhone. So it's much like a previous tweak that I covered called Eternum. This one's a little bit different, maybe better, maybe not, just depending on your preference. Let's go ahead and jump right into the settings and I'll show you exactly what this looks like. So right when you're in the Watchboard settings panel, you can see that we can enable or disable it right here within the settings panel, no respring required. So once we toggle that on and then we go back, you can see that this is Watchboard. So right here it looks pretty good. I like the spacing on this. I like the circular icons. This is something that you can change within the settings. And you can see right here, like basically if you checked out Eternum before when you tap and held on a application and everything started spinning, well it doesn't do that on here. You can see that the movement is actually pretty nice, pretty fluid. You can see exactly where you're putting stuff, which is pretty nice. Now if we go back here and we go to, let's go to the settings again you can see that you have circular icons as well as show icon label toggles. So if you want to toggle off circular icons, then it's going to go back to the square icons. And of course, if you toggle off show icon labels, then there's not going to be any icon label. So if we go back here, you can see that we have all square icons right here. And we don't have any icon labels. Now, of course, we can always zoom out just by pinching, just like that. And you can see what you can do here. If we zoom all the way out and you can zoom back in obviously let's go down here Your fingers have to not be on applications so I mean it's really fluid it looks really nice and of course you can change up the spacing on the icons so if we wanted to do that we would just go back into the settings here and then you can see the icon spacing uh, scrubber so if we slide that all the way up to the right then this is going to be extremely spread out as you can see right there so the spacing is very large. You can see when you zoom in that you're not going to have very many applications on the screen at one time. Of course, like I had before, you can always put this back all the way down. If you do it all the way down, then the applications are basically right on top of each other. As you can see right there, just looks kind of cluttered. And this is about where I like to keep it, less than half, right about there. I just think that looks the best. Now, of course, if you can't find an application, what you would do in Eternum is you would just hit the home button and it would go directly to the middle and you can tap on the search icon. And that's going to bring up Spotlight, basically. Well, with Watchboard, you just double tap on the empty space and you can see it brings up Spotlight right there. So then we can just type in, let's say, Alien Blue and you can see that that pops up right there. So in a nutshell, that is Watchboard. So let me know what you guys think about Watchboard in the comments below. Do you guys prefer it over Eternum or do you guys prefer Eternum over Watchboard? Let me know in the comments. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.